Today I'm going to show you how to make the RPG kits in Galaxy. Software we'll be needing for this is Karameru, Cookie and Affinity Photo. Let's start by going into our Spain kit folder and opening the IE6 underscore B. Once open, we can go to Data, Character, Model and inside the RPG folder this time. Now inside Body. And here you can see we've got our files here. So, now one thing you know, there's not a lot, compared to the WASA folder, there's not a lot of files in here. That's because this is the in-game, uh, the little guys, the little, uh, the gameplay part of it, not the animation part of it. So this is the smaller versions of the textures. So there's only the actual um, kits in here and a couple of events. So there's also the A, B, C, and D, home and away, keeper, field, those type of uh, files. So we want to focus on A and B because we're replacing the golden oldies with uh, the invincible giants. So we want to extract our UZA21. Inside your Spain kit folder, you want to make a new folder and call it RPG. And inside this folder, we're going to make another folder call it field and for convenience sake I'm going to make another folder on top of that and call it goalkeeper so inside the field folder we'll save the UZA21 extracted lovely jubbly we'll go down to the UZB21 and extract that and put this inside RPG and goalkeeper this time once done, we can close out that into our RPG folder and field, and we're just going to extract our file. Uh, it's not. Uh, do not go to uh, the triple zero. It's no longer the triple zero because if you can have a look in here, it's the hand texture. They've swapped them around, so it's a zero zero one uh, folder. Here you go, beautiful stuff here. So, what we can do is. Um, extract that and then inside here export the PNG so all that thing we do the same with the keeper kit as well extract and inside here export cool so once done we're going to go back to our field and then open this with affinity photo so one thing you note straight away is that this kit does not is a bit weird. It's not like the other um it's not like the Waza kit where we had to put the emblem up at the top here so that it's coded in. It's already just there on the texture, and as you can see over here is the blank texture. So what we're going to do is a good tip to do or to have. I'm just gonna close this real quick because we don't need to know we don't need to know these things. Uh, a good tip to uh, start is when you're just starting off, you can uh, open up your, not your letters, we don't want letters, we want, um, where, where even is it? Inside your field folder we can open up the uh, kit texture, so we can have a look of what we're dealing with here. Just have a little fresh uh, mind here, so... Um, we're going to do this bit smaller, I feel. This is going to be smaller, and we'll have these a lot smaller. So it's just... Okay. Yeah, that's, that's not an issue. Okay. So... What I'm going to do is take this texture here, so my marquee selection tool, and we're going to take this texture here. Make sure it's not going over um you can take the whole texture if you want but i think it'll be easier just doing this we're going to control c control v to copy and paste this layer and we can just while holding shift to drag it along and make it fit there so that the badge is now covered we can still see the badge but we don't want to uh, see it so what i'm going to do is use the the in brush is it ember I don't know, then painting brush tool here and just cover this. And while having this selected, we'll select a little bit of it here 
and painting brush tool again and just take this out. Okay, so we've got our blank texture again. We actually need to, instead of just doing the painting brush tool again, we can just control C, V this layer and drag it back. This time, make sure it's in line. Okay, once we've got our blank textures, what we're going to do is recolor. So grabbing our selection, marquee selection tool here. Make sure all the green is covered. Going to recolor that as it's grey. Turn the saturation down, and then about fifty-five will do for me. And we'll move on to sleeve. The sleeve here will uh, only highlight this selected part. Control C V to paste the not the color. Make sure your background pixel is selected. Control C and V it. And then we can select the move tool. Drag it. A lot of this is just um same thing as last time, but as a smaller. We're just doing it smaller right now. So Yeah, that is it's it's pretty tedious to be honest, but yeah, we enjoy it. Um so with our new thing, we can just do a quick uh, control click on the, the image here. Highlights our whole layer. And we can recolor this. And it was 0 there and 55, I believe. Or 56, whatever, whatever floats your boat. See, there's a little, little gap there. But to be honest, you won't be seeing pixels on these because it's all stretched and whatnot so you won't be seeing any of this which is nice so you can afford to have a little uh mist color here and there so moving on to shots we can highlight this entire section make sure our background selected hit uh, the recolor now, i don't have the actual drop for this so i'm gonna in fact what i'm gonna do is do our logo here because that is the right color so Double click the image to bring up the recolor menu again. We're going to 3, 5, 9, 6 to 8. And we can move it up and down. That doesn't look right at all, does it? There you go. Looks a bit better now. And minus 16. Does that look right? I think that looks right. It's only a test anyway, so we won't, we won't worry too much about it. Now, there's a little black grey stripe here, so I'd say about here. You don't want it too big. So that'll do. Um, and I'm actually going to recolor this while we're here as well. So I'm going to go to add and recolor this okay make sure uh i'm going to highlight background pixel here and the background pixel here so that both will be affected by the recolor so adjustments recolor and we will minus 55 this so that is all nice and corrected now back onto our black our background, the very first one, and highlight this whole layer here. Then we're going to click Subtract and get rid of our line here. Now we can go back to Recolor and get the yellow, which I'm just going to quickly grab from here. Back in. Oh, there we go. 46. 81 and we'll need to brighten this to about 30. 30 seems fine. Now we're moving on to decals so we're going to go and grab the uh, shape tool here right click crescent 
and make ourselves a crescent. And that looks about right here. So we'll move that about here, which we'll see. In fact, let's try and get them in the middle as much as we can. That looks fine. Next is the triangle hang pattern here. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the pen tool. Make sure you have pen tool selected. And then from here, down to here, to there, back up. And then we'll just fill that in for now. If you're not happy with, if it looks too steep for you, you can just grab uh, the node tool, right click node tool, and make sure this is blue, this little node here. Hold shift and click and drag it up a little bit. That way it looks a bit less, you know, um, suffocated. So going by eye, try and make some space here. So we're going to click there and about, about there. Nope, that's too steep. Again, you can just get a rough one now, and then we can work uh, things out as they go. And then fill in that there. So, again, node tool, if you're not happy with it. If you want to move it, you can press T, and, or not T, V, sorry, press V. You can drag the curve up a little bit. And that looks, that looks suffice. That looks passable. Now, all the things we need, all we need to do now is add in the emblem. So if you remember, we still have our emblem here. So what I'm going to do is, if you don't have your rulers out, these are your rulers here and here. Uh, press Control R. It hides and shows them. If you don't have your rulers handy too. So I'm just going to grab a ruler and I am going to mark um, in a little square where my um, emblem will, will be so in this square here is where it's going so we can hide that back there so now I, I've got a, I can see where it is so I'm gonna go open and the emblem I made if you've made your emblem it'll probably be like a transparent one or something but I just kept mine the way it was so I take my curve, control C, back into here, control V, and now just making it fit in the uh, emblem here. That will do. Okay, I think that is us done for the field player and the process will be the same with the keeper kit so I'm going to export we don't want to go to letters we want to go to RPG here and then just save it over the golden oldies kit there you go and the process is the same with the keeper kit as well so in the keeper kit you just open this Infinity Photo and as you can see, it will just be the same. But this time, all we're doing, instead of uh, looking back at this, we're looking back at the goalkeeper kit. So we're looking back at this kit. So all you're using is a line, triangle, 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 triangle roughly about the same just try and judge it as good as you can and obviously your crescents line and gray out there you know it's that's it it's relatively easy so once you've got your two uh files made and exported we're going to um get them put them inside the files so i'm um, just checking make sure it's there so open up our one dot xi Drag and drop. Save. Oh, that's not save. <laughs> save. Come out that. Go into USZA underscore 20 or just 21. 
and then we will replace the number one with the cookie file save and we can import them back into um Karameru now so open up our ic6 underscore b then it's just a case of data character model rpg body and 21 is there so we replaced that with our own um uza day 2021 20, file there once that's done we can press save and let's see how these kits look in game okay now we're in a game and let's see if it's worked oh that is a probably it looks pretty good um, let's check the keeper real quick can't really see it from him i've not done the thing for him but you know it's fine okay we're not we're not we're not doing that then right let's let's have a look Ooh, yeah, keep it looks good. Let's just grab. Oh, did I miss it? I missed it, okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Well, that's. I'd say that's a, a good success. And that's it for this video, if you enjoyed please leave a like, and if you're new here subscribe, I'm doing more tutorials and guides coming out soon regarding Galaxy, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Yeah, but with that said, I'm off!